Hi, um, we've come to Lancashire today to learn about um, community Wi-Fi and how communities are accessing fibre broadband and uh, with me today is um, Chris Conda from B4RN Barn. Yes. Can you tell me quickly what Barn is? Uh, Barn is a community fibre network built out of desperation because we couldn't get broadband any other way. Right, okay, and how many communities in Lancashire are using the service now? Well, we're in Lancashire, Cumbria and North Yorkshire and yeah. it's about 50 parishes now connected to Barn. Yeah, and but you don't make any profits, do you? You do this. Well, we have to make some profit, yeah. otherwise, we would go bust. But if we make more profit than we need, yeah. we're not allowed to keep it, so we can't give ourselves wage rises, for example, uh, or go to the Bahamas. We return it to the community. We haven't quite reached that stage yet. We're okay. still plowing back in everything that we make. But one yeah. day, when Barn makes money, it will contribute back into the community right. any profits it makes. And from what I learned this morning is that what's the work you do, you work in partnership with the communities. They have to invest their time and resources. The communities actually build barn. We don't build barn. Right, okay. The communities build barn. So yeah. the communities raise the money for all the equipment needed. Yeah. All the duct and the fibre and the cabinets and yeah. everything else. Uh, they give us the money. We buy the stuff. We give them the stuff back and say, this yeah. is how you do it. And they do it all. And they yeah. call us in, like today at this point, yeah. ready to do the specialist work, which is blowing the fibre into their ducts right, okay. and terminating the fibre for them in the chambers and in the houses. So in houses in this area, what speeds could they expect to get? They all get 1,000 megabit per second symmetrical, a gigabit symmetrical. Yeah. And for those who aren't technically minded, that is a lot quicker than anything we could get from anybody else. Well, it's well over a 1,000 times quicker than anything we could have got before, yeah. but it's it's probably 100 times faster than anything yeah. in the cities. It's the fastest in the world, and it can be increased simply by changing the lights at either end of the fibre. Yeah. So with one customer on 10 gig, yeah. but it's only for fun, really. They can't wow. even use a gig. So it's amazing you have a, a very community-led um, approach providing far better speeds than anybody else can provide. It's faster than NASA, yeah. yeah. yeah it's uh, and they're the paying £30, 30 a month? £30 a month because yeah. it's, it's not to make a lot of profit yeah. and they're doing all the work. Yeah. yeah. So this model, because we're here today because we, you know, we work on Anglesey and Gwynedd, others here from North Wales. Well, I know Anglesey, yeah. 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 So it's very nice. Mm. And, um, so it is possible to take this model and apply it in other areas? You can apply this model anywhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah they've done it in very remote places in Scotland. Balkeda's yeah. just come live. Balkeda is another flagship yeah. barn-type project where the community has managed to get a hold of a feed. Yeah. The key to it all is getting a feed. Okay. You, that's why we, we stopped doing wireless, because we couldn't get a feed for our wireless networks. So the feed is the key, yeah. and you can't afford the feed unless okay. you all work together. Okay. So my little community where I live couldn't yeah. afford it, and Barry's little community where he lives couldn't afford it, yeah. and we all started talking to each other yeah. and working together, seven parishes built Barn, okay. and because those seven parishes did it, all the parishes around it said, what are you doing? Oh, we're having our own broadband, and it's going to be cheap, and it's going to be yeah. good. And they wanted to join us, so then they say, well, if they can do it, we can do it. So you've now got Barn Norfolk's just gone live this week. Mm. Barn Norfolk came to one of these short L days. Mm. They saw how we did it and they thought, well, if they can do it, we can do it. Sure. And what your role will be is to enable the people to do it themselves. They cannot do it themselves and you enable them to do it. And that's what we're doing to all these people. They're all, nearly all retired mm. people who are building barn. Yeah. They're all gentlemen, well, ladies as well. There's quite a lot of ladies in the trenches. Yeah. But they're all retired early, or they've retired at the proper age, but they're still fit. Yeah. And, and they've a reason to get up in the morning, and they love it. Yeah. And they get to know everybody. So you're not only building your, your network, you're actually building a network of people as well, yeah. who all end up mates and, and go to each other's houses and yeah. domino drives and it's making it a bit like the old days yeah. where everybody yeah. knew everybody yeah. before we all started moving out and the kids never came back. Yeah. Right. So, so it's a network and far more than just the broadband. Oh yes, oh yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we have okay. a club every Friday okay. and they all come with the problems, you know, how do I get vonage and, yeah. and how do I do this and, and 
Fantastic. And my iPad won't turn on. And yeah. The, yeah, and we help them every Friday afternoon. We also have a really good help desk, yeah. manned by volunteers again at the moment. Yeah. But we're shortly to start employing somebody to run the help desk Fantastic. that deals with all these issues because we have all these issues. Yeah. You get in these old houses, they're four foot thick, these walls in these places, and the yeah. Wi-Fi won't go through, so they say the band's not working. Yeah. I've done all this digging, and I can't get, I can't get a connection, and it's not working, and it's no good. Yeah. And you say, well, where's your router? Yeah. Well, the router's actually in the garage. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Thanks, Chris. That's really useful. Okay, right. thank you. Thank you.